Welcome to the Canva classroom, everybody. You will learn how to add text to an image and the options that you have to be creative with your designs. The first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you're either signed up or logged into your Canva account. Signing up is super simple. Click on sign up. You can even log in with your Google account, with your Facebook, or with your Apple account. You can even continue with an email. Here in the search bar, there is a little camera. And if you click edit photo, and I'm just going to grab this one that I downloaded from unsplash.com. There are two things that you can do with your image. You can edit it straight as a photo so that it is the exact same size and you don't have to worry about sizing it. That's what we're going to do today. If you don't want it to be that exact size, then what you can do is click use in a design and then choose what size you would like to make like this. If you don't have your own image, then all you need to do is click create a design and choose your size here as well. And you can find an image that you would like to add text to in the elements tab and searching. We'll search for winter, go to photos and if you right click, set images background, it will be right there for you. Edit photo. Over here, you'll notice that the upload button is busy. Text, you can add a heading, a subheading, a little body of text, and they are all different sizes. Mine are going to look a little different than yours. I have Canva Pro, which means that I have set up my heading, subheading, and little body of text to be very specific. Another way that you can do it is look down here for font combinations. If you notice something has the crown with Pro, it means that someone created for Canva Pro members. How else can you do it? You can click add a page. Go to templates, look at the templates to see the text options. Here's this, left click it and you can move it up to your image. At this point, you can take that and type in whatever it is that you want. The last way that you can add text to an image is by clicking the letter T on your keyboard. This came up, let me type in winter. There's a couple ways that you can size it. The first thing you can do is you see the white circle and you can drag it and make it larger. The other thing you can do when you tap a text box like this, you will see a text panel and you can change the font to anything you want. But the ones with a crown are Canva Pro fonts and the ones with nothing are fonts that you can use for free. Here's the font size that you can change. You can change the font color, but it will also pull up photo colors. So I can change it to a color that's in the photo. Let me add this. And when you left click, you can move it around. Sometimes you can add a bold or italicize or underline to certain fonts and sometimes you can't. It really depends on what font you've picked. If you have it in lowercase and you change your mind, you can look at it in uppercase. You've got the alignment and this is just like alignment anywhere. You can do it to the left, to justify, to the right, to the center. You can add bullet points or numbers. Spacing. You can space your letters further apart or closer together and you can adjust your line spacing just like that. There are a lot of effects that you can add and all of these at this time are free. Background where you can add a background to it and for this one I would probably if I were to use this I would probably use the same color, but then change the transparency. 
I would change the spread to make it, oh, no, nope, maybe not. Maybe I would do it like this, a little round, position, center, and middle. That looks kind of cool. Another thing that you can do if you don't want an image, but you want like a GIF or an MP4, you can add a text effect or a text, I'm sorry, a text animation. Position. You can bring things forward or backwards. Top would take it to the top of the thing, left, middle, bottom, center, right. So let's go to center and middle. Another thing that you can do is add a transparency. This is really good for watermarking an image. Something else you can do if you're doing a PDF is adding a website or a link to your image. You can lock it. You can click this button, which will duplicate it. So that's, and let's say that this is what you've decided you wanna share somewhere. What you would need to do is click download PNG. If it is the only thing that's on your document, and there aren't more than one pages, you would just click download. If you had two pages, you would notice that it says select pages. You would need to click down and select one page or the other, whichever one you would want to download, unless you wanted to download them both. And there you go. There are so many things that you could do to your image, but today was just about adding text. If you like this tutorial and want to see more like it, make sure that you are subscribed and comment pickles and check the description for some recommended lessons. See you next time. Bye.